All right, everybody, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I didn't get a lot of feedback. Um, so instead of doing the part five of the estate sale, I'm just going to go ahead and go for broke. I've got a silver lot that I'm going to be showing. Um, I'm going to show you the jewelry if you have any interest, comment below. Um, like I said, I'm kind of, um, a little bit, I don't know, I haven't gotten very much feedback or comments or anything on my videos in the past week. So, we'll see what happens with this. It's like 2 in the morning, but this is a perfect time to do this, that way the Sterling lot will be uploaded and you guys can see it in the morning. So with all that said, let's start. Okay, I'll try to show you the 925 um, pieces um, where it says 925 with my um, magnifying glass. Um, if you can't see it, I, have, I can send you pictures. Um, the first piece I have is a beautiful necklace. I put it on the black here. It is, um, it's like butterscotch colored. And from what I have seen, it is um, butterscotch amber. Is what I was told it was. It is a large pendant. The 925 bail. I mean, it looks like a piece of Werther's toffee. It is gorgeous. Uh, give you a size. The piece of glass is two inches. With the bell, it's about two and a half. I'll show you the bell and the pack. I put it on a very vintage sterling chain that maybe could be cleaned, but I mean, it looks really nice. It matches with the um, striations there, um, the uh, darkness in the in the bale, I think it's a pretty good match. Um, the clasps, clasp does say 925. Gotta find it. Okay, we'll see here. Shiny. So the clasp is 925. That little magnifier is getting on my nerves here. There we go. It says it right there on the clasp. And this piece I'm going to have to look. It is very small. But on the bale, right there, it says 925. So this is a really nice piece. It's one of my favorites. And the chain, I'll measure that for you here in just a moment. Isn't that beautiful? Like I said, the pendant, the glass part of the amber is two inches. The necklace is 18 inches. So there we go with that one. I'll put it over to the side. It sure is pretty. Okay, next I'm just going to grab pieces. Next I have a set I put together. It's um, onyx with sterling. These I haven't cleaned. Some people don't like them clean. They like them like they are. And then, let me get this bigger one. 925 is right there. I'll show you an enhanced picture of that. There's that. It's very nice. Sterling. I'm not sure if this was the Mexico. 
No, just 9 to 5. Um, could very well be. but And this is from the bail to the edge is 1 inch. And with this piece, put that there. There is a bracelet. It is gorgeous. It says 925, just like the same. There. It has not been cleaned. It is really pretty. It's an oval band. It's dainty and nice, just kind of like the pendant. If I can get it over here. Come on. I think I just saw a fly. Oh gosh. Okay, so there we go. And the clasp is very easy. Just line it up. Isn't that pretty? So that's the Onyx set, and it is, I'm looking here, this is definitely vintage, um, there is no Mexico on it, but it's very similar. So this is a set together, it's a bracelet and a pendant, very nice. Um, I'm not going to weigh them tonight. If you see a piece and you want to know how much it weighs, we'll, I'll weigh it for you. Just email me. Okay, the next piece is beautiful. It's a lace agate. Um, this piece is not sterling. I do think it's plated. This is lucky brand. I looked these up. Some are plated, some are not. This is a lucky brand bracelet. This is the pendant, which is sterling. Um, it's just such a good match. I had to put them together. Um, this is beautiful. This is really, really sturdy. I love Lucky Brand. That will... Um, where is that? Isn't that pretty? Let me tighten it up, loosen it up. And this is the pendant, and I'll show you. Sterling. Mark. I think this one is Mexico. Hold on here. Huh. I'm not sure what that mark is. But it does say 925, right below the big bale. That's got a nice bale here. You can put a little bit larger chain there. So we have this, and this has a pair. This is sterling. This, I think, is plated. So there is the lace agate, blue lace agate, and that is a set. Okay, next, I'm just going to grab stuff. Next, that's a pair of hammered sterling earrings. These are pretty. These are lightweight. These are super nice. The writing is teeny, tiny. It says sterling, so that tells you it's a little bit older. I think that means it's before the mid-70s. Sterling. Like I said, they're lightweight. They're nice. And they are hammered. And these have not been cleaned. But they are very pretty. Let me look on this side. Yep, that's all it says is sterling. Right in there. And the French hooks are nice. They're sterling also. Okay. So we have the hammered style. Lightweight. Flashy. Really nice. 
Okay. Next I have a pendant, which is also, it is the letter G, it is sterling. This one's Mexico, I do believe. Yes, this is, this is TE68 or 63, Mexico 925. So there's that. And this is beautiful. It's onyx and the G is a um, fancy, almost like calligraphy, just barely etched in it. But at a distance you can't really see, but it's just a very interesting piece. So this is onyx and sterling, Mexico 925. It's got a larger bail there. Okay. Next we have Silpata Sterling. We have a Sterling Anklet. I'll show you the Silpata sign here. Jewelry mark. right there. Sorry about the glare. This is really, really pretty. It is got the little heart here. Stone. It has like the S. And I will measure it for you real quick. Excuse me. This is just a little over nine inches. It's very pretty. I have not cleaned it. It doesn't need it. These pieces are a little bit movable, so be careful um, if you purchase this to make sure that you don't stretch it out. Sterling is a bit. Um, malleable, malleable. It will move if you push it or pull it. So you've got the anklet there. Very pretty. The design is very unusual. So there's the anklet. And these are the sapata earrings. And they are very pretty. They are a silver tone, but they're a dark silver. Um, the mark on here, that's what, this is very unusual. The Silpata is written. Let's see if I can find it. It is written on the French hook. It's got the Silpata mark. And it is tiny. I don't know if you can see it. It is like right through there. And it has a Silpata mark and it says 925. And like I said, if you have any questions, I can always take a picture. So this will be sold as a set. The designs are very similar. I don't think they came together. But this has kind of swirl patterns on it also. Very pretty. I'm very lucky to get it. Okay, next we have a pendant. It is just a... It's like a... Maltese cross almost. Um, the bail is gorgeous. It is. Real quick. Yes, this one's 925AT in Mexico. And it is written. Come on, Glare. 
right in the center. And this is so shiny, it looks almost like it's got little stones, but it isn't. It is just the beaded silver. I don't know where that glare is coming from. There we go. You can see it better that way. Let's see. Hmm. Isn't that pretty? And the bell's nice. It's it's a bigger bell also. 925 Mexico. That's beautiful. Okay, next we have, and I have sterling rings too. So we have sterling and CZ with like the vermeil over it. So they are gold. But they are marked on the post, 925. These are pretty. These are gold tone, like I said. It is over silver. The price on these were like 34 and 40 So they're not inexpensive, but they are CZs. And the setting is silver. Okay, so there are those two. Let's see here. Like I said, I have quite a bit. Okay. The next one that I have is Tangled, of course. These are very pretty. This is uh, the Sideways Cross Sterling. Very pretty. It has a gorgeous chain. Very silver, and it's almost like um, it's just like gilded, almost looking silver. Let's get those off of there so I can show you better here. that is. It's like glitter. And there's the cross. And I'll show you the necklace. And it's all one piece. Um, and the 925 is it's 925 Italy, I'm pretty sure. It says De Quattro, 925 Italy, right there, and it does have a nice extender on it, so this one is gorgeous, and let me measure it for you, and it's not heavy at all, this one would be 15 inches, so there's that one. And we'll move on to the next. I have a either jade or jadeite. It's nice and green. You can see the inclusions in the stone. It is not clear. And this is sterling. Um, nothing sticks to the magnet. Um, it's got a nice bell there, and I'll show you the markings here. It just says 925, and yeah, that's all that says. It's on that little tiny piece there. I'll get my magnet. Nothing sticks. Yep. So we have this jade heart. Very, very pretty. 
and this chain is almost like a it's not a thin popcorn it's just um just like little um, oblong pieces together very nice okay next we have a beautiful piece it is a crystal and a setting nine to five back here and then I'll show you the crystal itself this is really pretty it's probably CZ and this is on a toggle here isn't that pretty and I'm trying to remember this one does not say no it doesn't say 925 on it let me show you it doesn't stick so we have this beauty here and I mean she's just gorgeous isn't that pretty very nice chain. There's no tarnish or anything on this one. And I will measure it for you. And it is right at 16. So that's a nice one. Okay, let's go for... This is a set that I kind of put together. And I have sterling backs for these beautiful turquoise and marcasite earrings. I'll put them on right now. I always keep a bag of these. Um, they aren't expensive. I get them off of Amazon. Well, if these will fit, Hmm, these might not fit. Nope, they're good. I need to straighten that post out. These are both a little wonky, but I'll get them straightened. They're longer post. So, I'm not sure what that means, but these have brand new backs on them. They are sterling backs. This is 925. I think this says 925. Let me check it. I'm not sure if it says 925 or sterling. This one says 925M. Hmm. 925M. Something. MI. Not real sure, but these are just gorgeous. Look at that turquoise color. The marcasites are there. I've looked them over. This is the back. Very, very pretty. And they dangle. They're all one piece. They're not articulated. And the drop is about an inch and a half. And that is the piece at the top. Beautiful. Let's see if you can get a good look at the turquoise. There we go. Just a beautiful blue. And these are older, I think. And, you know, they say turquoise has a tendency to turn more of a green cast to it. And I think that's what these are doing. Just beautiful. There you go. So those are the earrings with this set. The second piece is turquoise. This is the most dainty, gorgeous piece. This is actually strung on thread. 
it has a little bale here. This is like the liquid silver, the little pieces. And then you've got the most beautiful turquoise discs. And they're graduated. This is very, very dainty. So I've got this with this set. And then we have another one that is just like made exactly the same way. And it has the barrel clasp also. This is 925. It is like the liquid silver, and then you've got hematite beads. This one is almost 16. And this little beautiful one, turquoise one, is... Almost 16. Yeah. Probably 15 and 3 quarters. They're about both the same exact length. So this is this set here. And all three of those come together. Just beautiful. Put those over to the side. So we've got that. And the hematite. I've got quite a few more pieces. Okay. I have two pendants. They are flowers, a pink and a light blue. I put them on a rope, a little snake rope chain. And this chain is not sterling. This chain is a U and I, and it's very well made. I thought it was really pretty. I thought somebody would really enjoy having it. So it is a longer chain. It is almost 20 inches, and it's very well constructed. Like I said, it's not sterling, but it does not stick. So, and with this comes both of these, and they are sterling, 925. Let's see if I can find the mark on these. Hold on here. These are darling. I cleaned one, and I didn't clean the other one. Um, I don't know if I ever found the mark. I don't know, it's somewhere here. I don't see it. Okay, let's see. This is the one I cleaned. Well, uh, you... Like I said, I'll take good pictures here, and if for any reason you have any questions, um, I'll test it with the magnet. I don't see any marks on these, and I thought there was, but these are lovely. This is like Mother of Pearl, if I didn't say that already. These are not magnetic. If you want these and get them, test them for me. Um, they've already been tested, but um, those come as a set. And it's got a beautiful chain right there. Okay, next we have 925, and it's a choker style. This brand's called Radium, and I did not look it up. I've been so busy, but you can see the 925 there. And the name Radium is over here, and it's also, I was thinking it was on the class, but it might not be on this one. Yes, it is. And there's 925 on the clasp also. Where are we? There we are. And it is a snake chain. And it's really nice. 
and it's a thin, you know, it's a small one. It's very, very pretty. Can you see it? There we go. Yeah, like I said, it's light. <laughs> So this is 15 inches. This would just be a really nice choker for someone. You could put a pendant on it, or you wouldn't even have to. I'm trying to see on my neck. I always put them on. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of room. That'd be perfect. It kind of sits right on the collarbone. Or right at the, that's not your collarbone, at the base of your neck, where those two little bones are. Okay, that's beautiful. 925. Okay. Next. I said I had quite a bit. This is a 925 clasp. I'll show you the markings. These do not stick. 925. Oh, that's tiny. 925 is right on there. What we have is a piece of turquoise. It's beautiful. You can see the copper inclusions. You have a Dalmatian stone. One of my favorites. Isn't that pretty? And you have a beautiful amethyst with a little pink bead, I mean purple bead here. And and these um, wires, I think, are sterling also, because they do not stick. So I'll put it here. Isn't that pretty? And you can take them off and put them on a different necklace if you want to. And this is a leather cord. It's a nice one. 